Good morning, everyone, from our beautiful Caledonia home for the winter. Um, today is our, our first How I Did It video. Um, not how to, but how I did. Um, we are going to, I'll take you for a little quick walkabout. There's Mrs. C and Bruno back there. Um, I'll take y'all for a quick walk about here in a minute and um, let y'all see what we got and what I'm doing. Uh, I'm working on new, I got my ear pods in to use as my microphone, so we'll see how that works out. Anyway, enough rambling, quick walk about, tell you what I'm doing, and then we'll get started. All right. Quick look, this is where we live, uh, 2023, 19.3, no boundaries. Um, we love it, we traded up from our truck camper to this. It's filthy, y'all, I'm sorry. We'll do a better walk through here in uh, a couple of weeks or a month or whatever, once we get that finished with some of our projects. Today, um, this, we're gonna we're we're gonna take care of another one of the no boundaries slash forest river engineering marvels. Um, what are you laughing about? Uh, this it, okay. The camper comes with 200 watts of solar on the roof, a little 100 amp hour lead acid battery, and uh, that's it. So we've already replaced a little 100 amp, 100 watt, or 100 amp hour lead acid battery with a 300 amp hour lithium. We've added 200 watts of solar on the roof. Um, it also comes with a external solar jack. So what we're going to do today, it has the solar jack goes directly to the battery. So if you get an external solar panel, it has to have a uh, charge controller on the solar panel. Um, so what we're going to do today is add a, add a charge controller in here and get rid of the one that's on the solar panel. On the solar panel. We have a 200 watt uh, Renergy solar panel that we use. Right now it's got a very inefficient PWM charge controller on it. We're going to change it out for this Victron 30 amp MPPT charge controller. No, I am not sponsored. We do not get paid for any of this, um, but that's just my choice. So we're gonna take here, there's the empty space in the back. I'll clean all this stuff out here in a minute. And we're gonna add the charge controller in there, run everything through that and a little bit more efficient and I can add a second 200 watt external panel if I want to. You guys hang on while I clean all this stuff out of the back, give myself some room to work, and we'll get started. All right, let's get this stuff out. This is Bruno's room, by the way, right here. It used to be a bunk bed, but we took that out. That's another thing I'll go through down the road. But you guys, we're gonna clean this out, get all the stuff out so that we can uh, work in there. So this empty space here, there's nothing back there. A few wires, no biggie. We're gonna take that panel off and I'll show you where we're gonna put the uh, charge controller. All right, so because of the length of the uh, external solar panel cables or wires we're going to mount this thing right up here and then these run directly to the battery this for the external solar panel now let's get safe before we get too far too far along first 
Let's unplug the external solar panel. All right. We've taken off the external solar panel, but if you check this plug, you still got 14 volt or 13 and a half volts. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna walk around front and turn off the battery disconnect. So originally, this little jewel right here, the battery disconnect was located here on the front of the camper. I did not like that. So I moved it in here along with, along with a junction box for the wires and, lead and everything that were under the bottom in the underbelly. When I changed the MPP or the charge controller for the house battery, which is a 30 amp MPPT in the bathroom, I'm gonna move it up front. I'll show you guys the, the box that I've got. That'll be a while, a little bit down on a couple of two or three weeks. Anyway, battery disconnect off. Now, let's go check our voltage again. Okay, solar panel's disconnected. Battery disconnect switch is off. And, oop, wrong way. Ground. Oh, look at that. We still have 12 volts. So, the reason that is, is because my disconnect switch my uh, solar panel on the roof does not go through the disconnect switch. So I've got to climb up and unplug the solar panel on the roof so we can get rid of this residual voltage. I will be putting a switch on that panel when I do the, uh, the second MPPT charge control. Anyway, let's go unplug that. Right, let's climb up here. Oh, let's slide away. All right, we are unplugged. We have no solar coming in. Let's go see what kind of voltage we got now. Excellent. We have no nothing coming in. So now we can safely cut the cable, the butt splice, or the wiring butt splice, take it off, put the charge controller in, pull the old charge controller off, and we'll be ready to rock and roll. All right. Remember kids, always safety first. Let's take care of these. I have a really bad trigger finger. <laughs> so if you hear me go, <clears throat> it's because it's locked up on me and I have to stop everything to let, to let go of whatever I've got a hold of. All right, freedom. Let's get some, uh, zip, uh, some uh, wire, wire strips. Mrs. C is very finicky about her house, so I have to keep it clean. You hear her laughing over there? You know what I mean.
All right, y'all, let's get this hung up. Remember, this is a how I did it video, not a how to. Please keep that in mind. So these guys are short. So I'm just gonna have to come all the way over here so that they reach. All right. And when I put the panel on here, it should fit perfect, right? Yes, I have a power drill for this. I'm choosing not to use it. I may regret those words here in a moment. All right, we're getting the drill. All right, let's go with a little pilot hole action. I don't know what we drilled into, but it's okay. I can fix it. <laughs> I got no screws coming through the outside. We're good. Put different screws in this one. On this side. I don't think these are going to bite. All right, we're going to have to go with a different screw scenario on this side because the others, I'll show you, have this, <laughs> and that's about how deep the wall is. We're gonna get threaded all the way down. The other side bit very well, so that did too there. Oh, that's in there very well. Tighten that up too. Like I said, engineering marvel, quality workmanship. Of course, I mean, it's not hanging on to anything, so. There's literally no wall here, hardly. I think the ones on the end are more for looks than anything. But we'll leave them. Here's what's holding here's what's holding this up. Over here. Over here. When you look at the wall, there's nothing there. So anyway, you like the uh, nice clean holes they've gouged it out. Anyway. That's in. Let's wire it up. Okay, first side first. I'm gonna fire up the battery side. Battery. Uh oh, move my screwdriver up front. All right, everything loosened off here. Alright, let's go turn it 
turn our power on. Make sure we got a good battery. All right, the battery disconnect is on. So we got. Thirteen point three. All right, good. Now let's go turn the battery back off. All right, battery's off. Let's hook up the solar panel side. Tight, good tight, snug, 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 calibrate the elbow. All right, that's in. Well, let's go turn on the um, battery disconnect, make sure nothing explodes. On with the battery disconnect. We got no sparks, no smoke. That's a promising sign. No smoke. We've got smoke lights flashing. That's good. All right, this is the solar panel. 200 watt energy. 200 watt. This is the uh, PWM charge controller. Let me turn this out a little bit. This is my rattlesnake haven. Anyway, this is PWM charge controller that they install. It works great. efficiency so we're all hooked up so there's no battery what they've got this panel and this panel tied together going in here so what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect here and not go through the charge controller and go straight into the uh, MPPT these we're going to disconnect it here because that's coming out of the uh, charge controller take these guys off now here's my dilemma female female male male now what I did before is which I may do now all I did was reverse So, for simplicity, for e for ease sake, I know these are not right. Don't. This is not a how-to. This is a how I did. Okay. And then down here, we have this little reversing splice. So at the other end, we should have the correct polarity. And we do. 20. My meters, my lead's not making good contact. 
23.5. All right, let's plug it in. All right, let's see what it looks like. And we are hooked up. And we are bulk charging. Let me pull up the app and see what it looks like. All right, the app is installed and updated and we're showing 175 watts coming in. Let's go look in the battery box. So we are on still. We're showing good voltage. Let's climb up and reconnect the other panels. All right. Still no sparking, no working. We got good 13.5. Let's go inside and see what it looks like. So these are the installed PWM controllers that come with the camper. I'll be replacing this one in a week or two. But I'm going to try and move it up to the front. Anyway. Alright. So that's going to be it for our How I Did video. It's working great. Already in absorption. The battery is 90, I don't know, 95, 96% charged. Uh, we're showing 285 watts in, which we haven't had over 200 hardly since we've been here. So once I get an MPPT installed for the inside set, we're going to be uptown Charlie Brown. Anyway, that's it for my how I did. Let me see if I can get this cover put on real quick. That's it for our uh, How I Did It video. Yay. Yay, Mrs. C's happy. Bruno's happy. I'm happy. I didn't get electrocuted, so that's really a good thing. Um, let's get all this stuff put back in and call that a wrap for the day. That's my project for this week. Hope you all enjoyed this. I don't know if it's going to be helpful, but yeah, it was fun to do. Anyway, and it... Uh, Improved the efficiency on our, uh, out, our suitcase solar like incredibly. One quick note that I wanted to throw on here. Um, if you live in the desert 85-90% of the time, or if you live where you have adequate solar sunshine the majority of the day, PW, PWM charge controllers will probably work just fine for you. I mean, pulse width modulation, they're not efficient, but throughout the day they will work well enough to get your batteries charged up to where you need them to be if you have enough sun. We have plenty of sunshine here. I mean, we've had no problem charging our batteries throughout the day. However, we travel extensively and some of the places that we go, there is not sufficient sunshine. So we have to drag our panels out, stick them out in the middle of the, the aisle way out there somewhere and try to drag in enough solar. So uh, MPPT charge controllers makes more sense for us and I just want to throw that on there because if you do have PWM or if that's all, because they are less expensive, much less expensive, or if that's the price, the, the price budget that you're at or the budget that you're at, don't be discouraged. Take what you can get, use what you've got and make the best of it. We just, we just chose to upgrade ours, um, to a, to, we're, we're going to go with the second one also in, in for the overhead solar panels, the two overhead, both of them are 30 amp they'll handle the load so um i just want to throw that on there make sure that everybody understands there's that pwm is not bad it's just not efficient not as efficient as we need or we want so anyway y'all have a great day 
And we will see you on the next video. There's Mr. C. Bye, y'all. Bruno. Bruno's hiding down there somewhere. I don't he's know where behind he me. He's behind, he's behind <laughs> Mr. C. Anyway, we'll see y'all next video. Bye. Bye.